Hello guys, welcome back to another new episode. Before we start today's tutorial, I want to say a big thanks to you guys, for supporting and making this channel to reach 100 subscribers. I believe you guys can still do better, thanks very much. In today's video, we are going for Logix Pro Garage Door Programming. Here we are on the page in which I adjust the view. Click on Simulations, click on Door Simulator. This is the interface of the simulator, with the following accessories such as Stop button, close button, open button, shut light, open light, ajar light, two limit switch, motor up and down control. Back to the page, I drag and drop open bit, in which I give it the stop button address, and give it his name. Drag and drop rung latch, drag and drop another rung latch, I drag and drop open bit to the first rung latch and I add the open button address to it, with it name. I drag and drop output bit to the next rung latch, with motor up address add to it, and give name as well. I drag and drop open bit to the end of the rung latch. Drag and drop motor up address to it. This means you have retained the motor up in the absence of open button. Because does button or push button switches not tongue switch, I drag and drop output bit to the end of the second rung latch. And open light address is give to it, with his name tag. I drag and drop open bit to break the condition, and drag and drop ls1 no as limit switch address to it, and give it name. With this motor up and open light cannot be power in the present of ls on. I drag and drop open bit to the next rung. Drag and drop the stop address for it. Add rung latch. Drag and drop another one. Drag and drop open bit. Give close address, and give name. Drag and drop output bit to the next rung latch. Drag and drop motor down address to it. And give it name. Drag and drop open bit. Drag the motor down address to it. Drag and drop output bit to the end of the rung latch. Add shut light address to it. Name it. In this program, I want a jar light to be always on whenever the simulator is ready, and to indicate the simulator has been power. Drag and drop output bit to it, and add a jar address to it. In which I do same thing to the next rung. I want to add the close ls2, by drag and drop close bit to the rung 001. And give it the address with name. Click the change icon. Click on download to download the program to the simulator. Click on run mode. You can see we have a jar on, but in the program page ls1 is on while ls2 is off. This all because in the simulator is the no normally open of ls1 has been used and nc normally close of ls2 has been used. There will be a video link in the description below that give details about no and nc connection. Now I click open once, and the door start opening and the ls2 is on in which program in rung 002 is truth to run. Let wait for it. You can see when it reach the LS1, it on and break the motor up and open light power source. I click close, the door start closing. You can see immediately the door move away for the LS1, the LS1 is off. In which the program in rung 000 is truth and is ready to run. Let wait for it. Now the door close and reach LS2, and LS2 go off and break the power source for the motor down and the shut light. Let retry the process for confirmation. You can see the result is the same as previous. I click open, and I click stop, the door stop instantly. Watch the simulator to see how active our stop button is.
If you have any questions you can reach me with the handles links in the description below. See you in the next episode.